What's worse than an alien coming after you? One that can fire lightning out of its butt. Today on the show, we're taking a look at the Kalaik Alien Pikachu statue. This obviously came from the Far East. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure if it's from China, Japan. Um, I don't know, because I can't read the language. <laughs> but as you can see here, it has the Pokemon logo up in the top corner. You got a Xenomorph Pikachu right there on the front. And it says Pikachu at the bottom. Uh, I'm assuming this means for ages two and up. <laughs> um, Xenomorph Pikachu on the side. And on the back. And the other side. And then there's the top. Alien Pikachu figure. Green. Made in China. Okay. This is actually my wife's. She ordered it off of Amazon. About 21 bucks. So yeah, I haven't really looked at the box. Otherwise, I would have probably known made in China. So, uh, anyway. And then, there's the bottom. And the Pikachu, the Xenomorph Pikachu comes wrapped in lots of bubble wrap. And... It's packaged in a plastic bag. There's a little bit of assembly required, but not a lot. As the tail, the tail, uh, it, it's separate. It's included in the same bag, but it's not attached. So anyway, to attach it, there's a plug right here. Just plug it in like that. And you do want to be careful though, because I found that the ears have a tendency to come out. Uh, this one is glued in there pretty good, but this one, <laughs> there wasn't any glue in it at all. So, also something that comes with it, it was stuck to his head were these little things. And I'm, I want to say, that they might be, I think they're meant for his feet, uh, to stick to your display base, whatever, uh, for stability, but he really doesn't need it. I mean, they're, it's tacky, you know, um, it, it's gummy, yeah, so I don't know, I'm, I'm going to keep him separate because he really doesn't need him. He stands pretty well. And you can display him like this. Or like this. Where he's kind of leaned back on his uh, tail. And it's... I want to say it's vinyl. But it's not a hollow vinyl like Funko Pops. Uh, it's very solid. And it's got some heft to it, too. Uh, there is no articulation, though. Um, and this, the tail, it feels like kind of a brittle plastic. So I would be careful trying to move it. But the detail on this guy is amazing. We'll start with the ears. And it's pretty much what you expect from... A Xenomorph Pikachu. <laughs> or as my wife likes to call him, Xenochu. <laughs> Very H.R. Geiger-ish. So in the ears, as you can see, if you can hear that. Very nice. Very smooth on the other underneath. Uh, there's some texture to the side here. Some ribbing. And then even more texture to the top. And that goes with both sides. And then on the head sculpt, you can see the translucent uh, skull cap. 
and you can see inside the actual skull Pikachu skull which is really cool it's a f kind of pink hazed pl translucent plastic uh, you see the eye sockets there the nose socket the skull then you come down here and you've got what appears to be a smushed xenomorph face <laughs> with lots of texture lots of ribbing it's got the greenish uh, paint app with some blue and grays and blacks in there and then you've got these silver teeth which are fantastic you've got the little Pikachu feet here on the back you've got the spine which is incredibly sculpted then you've got ribbing along here and the tail let's just take a moment to appreciate the sculpt on this guy So there we have the Xenomorph Pikachu. And if you've ever wondered what would happen if a Xeno if a face hugger latched on to a Pokemon, <laughs> this is what you would get. And there's a gold variant as well. I believe they've got a couple other Pokemon Xenomorph Pokemons as well. If you look on Amazon. You'll be able to find them. Just type in Xenomorph Pokemon or Alien Pokemon. Yeah, should be able to find them there on Amazon. And like I said, they're 20 bucks, no, $21. And they are just really nice display pieces. All right, guys, to quote Pixel Dan, it's comparison time. We're going to bring in the Crusher Alien. As you can see, he's pretty close to the same height as Crusher Alien when he's on all fours. And then we'll bring in the NECA Big Chap. So let's go ahead and bring him in. This is the ultimate Big Chap. As you can see, Big Chap is quite a bit taller than Xenomorph Pikachu. But that's okay. Um, it actually looks in scale for the most part. Yeah, Pikachu could be a little bit smaller, but this right here is a great display. And I've got Amazon brought up here. The item or the item title is Kalik, K-E-L-A-K-E, -E, Alien Action Figure, Pikachu Figure, Statues Model, Statues Model, Doll Collection, Birthday Gifts, PVC 5 inch. <laughs> That's a mouthful, guys. But it looks like there is also a Bulbasaur as well. And it looks like Pikachu also comes in, uh, well, as I said, gold. 
It, it looked like it was a pinkish tint, but that's just the way the box looks. Uh, it is a gold color, uh, so he looks more like Pikachu. Bulbasaur. Uh, I think Bulbasaur has a variant as well. Yeah, there's a, a Bulbasaur, which is green, like Pikachu. And then there's a purple or violet type colored uh, Bulbasaur as well. So anyway, guys, there you have it. Pokemon Xenomorph Pikachu. And I'm not sure of the company's name. I think it's called Kalake. K-E-L-A-K-E. -E. Um, so if you got an Amazon account, get on there and order you a Xenochu. I've been Shannon. This has been Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you hit the subscribe button right there so you stay up to date on all things geek culture. Also, go ahead and check out one of these two playlists on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched. I'm Shannon for Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks.